Every thought you think and every word you speak is an affirmation. Bye bye. Oh bye bye. I love you. Bye bye. Ready? You open up this drawer. Open drawer. Open drawer. Good girl. Mommy. Mommy. Yeah, that is mommy's. Thank you. I'm about to go to bed, but oh my gosh, that is the weirdest thing ever. Good evening guys <laughs> I'm about to go to bed but oh my gosh that is the weirdest thing ever okay Cody's about to go in the shower kids are down asleep okay so here I was casually scrolling on Facebook and just talking to Kurt about the fashion and how it's changed so much the last 10 years this is literally what I was talking about anyways I like go into a photo of me back in the day from a modeling contest and I was like oh yeah see these bikinis babe like this is how everyone used to wear them like they were low rise and I was like it's gonna have to come back soon reckon that this will come back in the next few years anyway so just chatting away and then I like stop and I zoom in and I was like no way. Okay, guys, I'm gonna put the photo up. I'm gonna put the photo up right now. Okay, so here's the photo. And I'm looking, looking, looking. Zoom in to show Kurt how like low rise the bikinis used to be. <laughs> and who is standing next to me? Is that not the most bizarre thing ever? I literally voice messaged Ashley straight away and I was like, what the f is this you standing next to me? <laughs> I cannot believe this is like over 10 years ago. This is over 10 years ago guys And we're literally standing next to each other in a photograph We both didn't even know that we'd met each other until like five years ago I said to Ashley I was like obviously we got along well back then because we were like literally standing next to each other in the photo we're Probably chatting the whole day, but she can't even remember where it was I can't remember where it was. We both can't even remember anything about the day, but I was like, this is so funny that I've got this photograph from literally like 11 or 12 years ago of the two of us together. It is hilarious. Anyway, I thought it was really, really funny. I wasn't meant to start this vlog until tomorrow, but I just needed to share this with you guys. So on that note, I'll see you in the morning. <laughs> Rainy outside, the birds are chirping. Sounds so nice. We have got a busy day today. We have got a busy day today and a busy day tomorrow. But today we have actually got the kids here too to kind of juggle in between everything. So we have just dropped our new basic black range, which I am obsessed with. The quality of these products, guys, is honestly just amazing. I'm obsessed with it all. Um, but we just dropped it yesterday. So today I'm filming a haul. Um, and then also we have got a photo shoot tomorrow. So prepping for all the photo shoot, getting all the clothes ready and together. We have got a meeting at lunch today with a marketing manager, which is the first time we've kind of delved down that avenue with La Bella Rose. We've kind of always done the marketing ourselves, but I don't really know what I'm doing. Please, if somebody understands Facebook ads, <laughs> Oh, and like Google ads, let me know. Cause I just cannot wrap my head around it. I've done a lot of research on it over the years and I still like, it's just forever changing. So anyways, we have a meeting today with a marketing manager. And then we've also got like late tonight around eight o'clock, um, one of our deliveries turning up. So a whole heap of stock for the shoot tomorrow turning up. It was supposed to get to us yesterday, but it's literally coming the night before the shoot. So we'll be prepping all the stuff we've got here, but then there's some things that are coming tonight that we need to shoot, actually majority of the stock. So we've either got to stay up and steam it all like really late tonight, or um, we can get up early tomorrow and prep all of those bits and pieces. So kind of just winging today because I don't really know how tired I'm going to be at the end of the day. And we've also got a big day tomorrow where we're hiring a Airbnb. That'll be fun. They're honestly my most favorite days ever. Like those days where you go hire an Airbnb and create content are just the best days. But today's gonna be a juggling act because like I said, we have got the two kids here. So we've got Regan and Lincoln here. Miller's going to school. This, these will just be the days. Like we've organized the meeting when Regan naps, but it, it always like works out that when you organize those things on those days, they're like the days that they nap late or they don't go to sleep. But I mean, the great thing is there's two of us. So worst case scenario, one of us just misses out on the meeting, but it, we do like to try to make those um, sorts of decisions together whenever we can. But it feels so good to be on like a good work schedule again. I feel like our routine's really getting into the swing again. I've also been going to the gym every single day as well, guys. I've gone every day this week. 
and today's Thursday. So hopefully I get there today, but I know today, tomorrow, I'm not gonna get to the gym. It's just not gonna happen. Um, but I am gonna go for a walk with my girlfriend early in the morning, which would be nice. And then today, I don't know. I'm like, maybe, probably most likely not, but maybe. So we'll see how we go. But it feels so good to be back. I really need to clean up my room today. I actually really wanted to start organizing through even just a few of my drawers that are overflowing with things that I just have not worn. How you going, hun? Oh, did you hear me creeping? I could hear you creeping. I was saying how um, we've got a bit of a busy next two days. I said today is going to be interesting though because we've got the kids here. How's Mila? She mentioned anything about swimming? No. Okay. We've done started swimming lessons at school, guys. She's, she's doing great. Like the photos and that. She looks so happy, but she reckons she does not like it. It'll so, see what happens today. See how she goes today. Alright, but I'm going to finish with my makeup, listen to some Louise L. Hay. And have a nice productive day. Every thought you think and every word you speak is an affirmation. Your beliefs are merely habitual thinking patterns that you learned as a child. Many of them work very well for you. Other beliefs may be limiting your ability to create the very things you may say you want. What you want and what you believe you deserve may be very different to rest and ready for my day. Got the sheets off the bed. We're gonna change all the sheets over today. But if you have not listened to Louise L. Hay, I highly recommend her. The best time that I like to listen to her is when I'm driving in the car and when I'm doing my makeup. She is amazing. So the audio I listen to, it's literally just on YouTube. It's called I Can Do It. It's long, so it's not something that I'd recommend to like just, you know, sit down and listen to, but it's a great thing to, um, it's a cat trying to get in here. It's a great thing to try to listen to when like you're doing your makeup or you're coming back from drop off like after dropping the kids at school and things like that. Usually I only get through like 10 to 20 minutes of it each day but you can keep going back to the same spot and yeah it's just so amazing guys. I also wanted to mention that I have booked in my first psychology appointment. It wasn't as quickly as I thought it would be. Um, my doctor thought that I'd get in pretty quick but I couldn't get in for two weeks. But it's booked, it's scheduled, I'm doing it. And yeah, I'm excited. Bit nervous. <laughs> Anyways, guys, I'm gonna head downstairs now. Go give Curdy a hand. Quickly chuck my shirt on first, actually, because it's a bit cold. It's so rainy today. When I was getting ready, it was just like absolutely pouring down. So hopefully the rain holds off for a little while so we don't all get soaked when we go drop Miss Miller off to school. Oh, I love this so much. And I love the fact that you can just layer it, take the shirt off as it gets hot in summer, have the singlet on underneath and it all just like matches in together. I'm obsessed. Who's that? Hey, kitty, you trying to get in? Little bit of perfume. Oh, I haven't finished my coffee. Ready? You show, you show mum how you do sleeping. Guys, we changed Reedy out of a sleep suit into a blanket and pillow because it's starting to warm up now. You do sleeping. And she loves it, doesn't she? Good night. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, nice. Bye bye. Oh, bye bye. bye. Love you. Bye bye. Love you. You want to come out? Bye bye. Bye bye. She wants us to hop out. It'll be hop out. The light off. Bye night, night. Night night. <laughs> <laughs> oh, good night. Oh, she's close to us. Good night. Love you. Sweet dreams. She's like, get out of my room, Mum. <laughs> Wake up. Shh. <laughs> <laughs> it is literally, guys, pouring with rain. Oh dear. Let's get three kids in the car. Rain, rain. Rain. Oh, there's no room for the coffees. Okay. Hi, honeys. Hi. Hi. We made it. We're off. We got our little homemade coffees to bring with us. Look at us, kids. Wanna come up here with me? Can you help me? Can you help me look through my clothes? Do you want to help me? Shower! No, no shower. You want to help me look through all this stuff? Oh, mummy's got messy wardrobe. So messy. Do you want to help me? Help me. Okay, you watch me. Ready, you open up this drawer. Open drawer. Open drawer, good girl. You're mommy, very... mommy. Yeah, that is mummy's, thank you. Daddy. Thank you. So mummy keep, because this is a good one for tanning. Daddy. Yes, so this. Okay. Oh, thank you. That's a good one for tanning, Mummy Keep. I love all the long sleeve ones, guys, purely for when I'm tanning so I don't get tan on my sheets. Shower. What are you doing? Shower. Shower? 
Yeah. Yeah? What are you doing a shower for? You come here with mommy. You help mama. While the kids are half happy, we are sorting out now, guys, the bits and pieces that we need to bring to the shoot. But we can't show you because they won't be released yet. So. Um, will there, be, there might be one. There might, there will be, the red one. The red one. Yeah. So maybe I could flick that one here. Okay. So taking that one. Uh, taking this one. Yeah. And do any of these ones need steaming or are all these ones steamed? These are all, I might just hit the, that color okay. with the steamer, but then everything else is good. What you doing, Reeves? What is it? <laughs> okay. <laughs> Hello guys. I just asked some questions over on my Instagram and I thought what I might do, because there's quite a few that have come through, that I might answer a few over here as well. I love doing Q and A's. I actually love watching Q and A's. Do you guys like when I include this like at the end of a video? I remember I did it for a little while, like I'd answer two or three questions. Um, let me know if you guys enjoy this or if you prefer to just see the vlog the whole way through. First question, I'm sure you've answered this before, but what time do you usually go to bed? So Kurt and I are usually in bed by like eight o'clock and normally go to sleep by nine o'clock. So nine o'clock is kind of the latest that I like to go to sleep because every single morning I wake up at five o'clock. So that gives me a solid eight hour sleep. And I feel like that's the perfect amount that I need. I used to actually be able to get away with less than that. I used to be able to get away with about seven hours sleep. But now when I do that, I am just too tired. I can't do it on a daily basis. I feel like it catches up with me. Whereas eight hours, I feel like is perfect. And I can actually manage it without getting really, really tired. But yeah, I used to get up when I needed to. When Kurt used to do plumbing, I used to wake up most of the time between 3.45 and 4.30 to edit my YouTube videos because I loved doing them, loved creating the content, but literally just could not find time to do it. So yeah, fun fact, I used to get up literally that early, but I do feel like it caught up with me. <laughs> what makeup brand do you use for foundation? We actually had like three come through um, asking this question. I love using the Fenty Beauty Pro Filter Foundation. I've used it now for years and I cannot go past it. I love the combination of that and the Tarte Shape Tape together. Are you still only wanting three kitties? Hope you're doing okay. Yes, at this point in time, I'm definitely super happy with three kids. I really don't think we would have any more. I don't think um, my body would cope very well. As you guys know, I have not had the easiest pregnancies. I don't think it's worth the stress on not only Kurt and I, but the other kitties. I feel like three is kind of the perfect balance and I feel very, very content at the moment. How is toilet training going with Regan? Slow and steady, guys. I'm not putting too much pressure on this situation. It's been raining a lot, so I find that it's a lot easier when it's warm and not cool outside to just let her run around in the nude and keep practicing on those days or just having those undies on that I showed you guys. Um, so yeah, like she's, we've definitely been practicing it, but I'm not in a rush to get there. So like if it's a whole day like this, I'm like, eh. or if it's like a busy day, I won't really bother. But if it's like a day where we're just kind of chilling out, slow day at home, then that's when I've kind of been doing it. So I haven't been like super duper strict, as you guys know, if you watch the video all about that, but she's doing really well. Favorite part of being a mom. Oh my gosh, there's so many. I feel like I can't just like pick one part. Um... Just seeing them turn into these amazing little people and seeing all their own little personalities come out and they're all so different and unique and individual and it's really cool to just like to watch them grow and learn and to help support them through challenges that they come across and I don't know I just honestly I love being a mum. It is the best thing in the world. I'll do one more. Okay, so the last one is a lot of people asking about um, the new collections that we're doing and if we will continue with what we used to do or if we're gonna continue with doing what we're doing now. So the goal is obviously with getting this started um, and doing our own collections, we need a lot more stock. We need to order a lot more stock than what we used to. We used to be able to just buy like, I don't know, 16 items and then sell them. Whereas now like the absolute minimum it goes on sizing. So like say if we order a kid's item, we have to get 90 of one kid's item in one color, 
in one style. So then with the women's, it's 150 because there's 10 sizes that we have on our website. We go from a size six to a size 24. 10 sizes? Yeah, 10 sizes. The only way around that is to order a certain amount of quantity. So we need to get 150 of each item, which is fine because I know specific items. Like, I mean, well, with our um, baby doll maxi, you guys are absolutely loving that. We've already sold 100 and it's only been up for three weeks. So we've already got through majority of the stock of that. And we wanted things to not like sell out straight away like they kind of were. We wanted things to be able to withhold being on the website for that little bit longer. So in doing that, we obviously need to build the stock up. So will we have things coming out like what we did have? 100% yes, I'm so excited to show you guys all the things that we have coming. What we are doing too is as we're kind of going along, we're learning things along the way. So in each collection, we've been ordering two women's dresses, a men's shirt, a little boy's shirt, and a kid's dress. With that, the kids and the men's are brand new. So they're not going obviously as well as what the women's dresses are because that is who our audience is and what we, I guess, know better as well. So going forward, we've still got our um, whole family collections coming. We've got quite a few of them that we've already ordered because it takes a long time for them to get here. But then after that, I think what we'll be doing is focusing again on the women's and trying to get out like three to four new styles each week that are purely women's and then maybe like once a month, once every other month, then do the entire family collection because it is just such a huge out for us to get a style in the whole entire matching collection. Whereas if I was to do three different women's dress, it's just nowhere near as big of a risk because we know that that's what majority of our audience is and majority of what you guys have also been asking for with seeing all the things that we're coming out with. So we hear you. We have got coming next month um, like our whole collections and we will be starting to trickle out those one-off women dresses as well. Um, and then the next month we've got the same thing. We'll be trickling out some more women's dresses and then um, come into mid-December we'll be having heaps of new styles which is what you guys are kind of asking for as well so it's great to try new things see what's working see what's not all you got to do is rejig as things are happening that's literally business to a T like you try something and then you go oh my gosh you know that's not going as well or that's not moving as well or they want more of this or they want more of that um, the thing that we're getting the most of though is how much you love the size inclusivity and how grateful you are for us including sizes from a size 6 to a size 24 and every single item which is really cool it's really cool to see your response and you know it's showing like a lot of the items we put up and the size 24 is selling out in a day or two which is insane but it's one of those things too you know again with the sizing trying to figure out how much we need of each size because we're doing this all on our own it's like trying to work out okay like we've ordered way too many size 18 this time. There's way too many size 18s. And then all the size 10 sold out in like two days. So we need more size 10. So there's all these little risks and things that are involved with every single order and every single collection. Will we be going back to doing it kind of how we used to? We will. But initially we just could not outlay to have that much stock to start off with. So it'll kind of roll out. Um, but eventually around mid-December, you guys will start noticing there'll be like three new women's items a week and there'll be all different styles, all different colors. Um, so yeah, I'm really, really keen for that. Really excited for you guys to see what we have coming. Anyways, guys, I'm gonna leave this vlog here. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you guys soon.